And fuck, we're sitting here. This is true enigma. We're sitting with DJ Blaze, you know. Uh, he's leaving us here in a little bit, going away for a couple of days to do better, bigger things. And when I say a couple of days, I mean a long ass fucking time. He's moving to Austin. So we're gonna sit and talk to him a little bit about Woo. EDM. Woo. Woo -hoo. Did you hear that? No, you didn't hear it. Austin is a shit. I haven't even been there and I know it's a shit. <laughs> Real World Austin, wasn't there one of those? That was a shit. <laughs> Alright, so. I don't even watch MTV. This guy. But that guy, this, this guy, guy DJ Blaze. <laughs> Look, we're already like 30 seconds in and you're learning shit about this guy. Uh, so I'm ready to get started. Uh, I'm thinking where we're going to start, just how, how did he get involved? How did he get ready to go? How did he do this thing? So let's introduce DJ Blaze over here. You know. So go ahead and tell us where when did you first get into EDM? When did you first step foot into that world? Remember, yesterday. yesterday. I'm gonna have a scrubs memory right now, but I can't because this is a sit time. But I think I started like really fucking really, 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 really like the first time I heard like product music, like just fucking straight nice techno. It's like trancey techno, like, oh, this is awesome and fast and the and it's like, that around like 2000. And my uncle was really big into it. He like the party and bring it up and tell me about all this shit. And I'm like, what? that sounds incredible. That <laughs> sounds like the shit to do. <laughs> so I started doing that early on, and like, this past year, Texas has been, not this past year, but like, a couple years before, a couple years ago. That's what he said. Texas has been having like these big badass raids, like massive, that you only usually see in California because there's been a ban. In Texas. Now, like, how many people go to these raids? Like, what, are you, what would you say the, the best anywhere, number? Anywhere from like 10. Right. <laughs> <laughs> massive. So they range about like 5 to 30. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 5 to 30 thousand. Like, like a legitimate like backyard raid. Wow. Like, somebody threw up their house in like East Texas. Right. Could be anywhere from like 10 fucking people. With headliners like mm -hmm. Austin known very popular headliners like they actually have to pay you know, money to <laughs> pay money to get in. Yeah, like, like how much are the tickets? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. uh, with ten uh, ten I don't I I'll say I wanna say that one was like ten. Uh -huh. It's called the Nexus music festival. The yeah. Nexus. So uh, there, well there was a lot of people I'd seen like around that time it was really, it was really hard to find. Like, it was like this like main highway, you go like 65, but bam, dirt road right there, take that. <laughs> Get go there. There's a little street light right there. It's like a fucking night light. Like, mm. but, but it was pretty chill. Like, right. It was cool. Was there was a good vibe? Yeah, it was yeah. literally out of a house. Like they sold a succession in front of the house, and they had a back patio. So it was like, literally, uh, it was a house party on the wall. Like, but, and actually, we actually know that Blaze here has just gotten booked for Love Step, which hopefully I'm going to make. True Enigma is going to try to make an appearance. But he's going to tell us a little bit about that and what he's going to be doing. Because it's supposed to be really big, five stages, what I hear. Five stages. And i got to tell you the best part about Love Step. Best part. I think you're ready. Oh, am I? I'm always ready. I think I was born ready. I think I came out of my mother's womb and there was a little stand that said ready. Yeah. So go ahead. All right. Now, Five One Two Entertainment. Five One Two is helping out this show. Gustavo is setting it up. He always sets up that ass show. There's a lot of crews like from Houston and all these other crews from Houston and Austin that are setting up this show called Love Step Five Stage Master. But that's not the best part. The best part is it's free. Like, it's fucking free. It's a five stage event. It's fucking free. Like, I can't express how free that is. Like, it's so free, they almost pay you to go. Like, it's that free. That's awesome. They don't actually pay you to go. So. And I love free shit. I got, you gotta say. Who doesn't love free shit? I, don't I love free shit. Everybody should love free shit. I if love, you don't free, love shit. free shit. Especially if it's blonde. Yeah, but you gotta say, I'm more of a brunette fan myself, but. I love free shit. Free shit just works. Just you know? free shit. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's a free event. You just go on Facebook, look for Love Step. L U V Step. Or how Step. Just go for like doing it. What date is it? When is it happening? Same day as Future Fest. You know how lame, like, come on, guys. Massive intent. 
Alright, woohoo, they're going off the scene. But they need to step up their party, like production, like, big time. Mm -hmm. They'll bring a lot of people out. They don't make a, a lot of promises they keep. Right. So, this is thrown by a crew that is all about the music. Not just one crew, a bunch of crews rocking in the house, too. Mm -hmm. They're the same way. I'm sure all of these people are in house, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I don't people try to take this down. Get me, you gotta get that shit. I'm a gangster. <laughs> Not really. I think don't he tell anyone. <laughs> yeah, we're supposed to keep that on the... Yeah, we just tell people that. We're supposed to keep that on the DL. We, we tell them that. They usually move us along. <laughs> Undercover cop shit. But it's all about the music. It's all about the party. It's all about the life. It's all about the love. It's all about killing the crowd. It's all about everything that is good about this scene. There is some bad scene. Yeah, I gotta say that sometimes the word box. Yeah, love. Mm -hmm. It's about the love of being there, being surrounded by the people that love the same thing and just sharing that connection. The we, crowd is really good. We let everybody know about Fleur, what that means. I know it sounds funny. Everyone knows about Fleur. Everybody knows about Fleur. Like, you probably already. Right, you, you probably already have watching this video. Without it, we can't do it. We can't. Can't have it going on. What are those on your arm over there? Tell us about the candy. The candies. Yeah, I need a lot of compliments and the candies from girls. <laughs> that might seem more like, all right, dude, it's pretty good, but they're colorful. And Dude, I think it's scientifically the thing I proven. The most about fucking parties and raves is the fucking color lights and shit. Like, mm -hmm. The ways it's like the beauty of it, like it's art to me. Like it's, it's incredible. I think these are very colorful. And they mean shit. They mean shit. They're like a symbol, like right? right. from someone that you're probably not ever gonna see again. Again, yeah. 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 Until like you just run into them every day in mass and like. What's up? What's up? <laughs> later. <laughs> no, I'll see you later. I still got party in the day. And you're running until like four or five more times. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm party in the But like, I just made this one. It has my two favorite ladies. Molly and Mary Green. Two favorite ladies. This one I got from my friend in Portland. She lives in Portland, but she's from here. Uh, she's a really good friend. She's pretty badass. She's gonna go with me. This one I got from... Back to the Future, girl in Houston. Can't remember who it was. I had a bunch that night. I have no idea where I got this. I have no idea who this is. I know I got this at EDC. I have no idea who or where or what. This one, same thing. I have no idea. But that happens. That's the beauty of it. You're like, okay, I have a, I have a symbol of friendship with someone else. I have no idea who they are, but this is theirs. <laughs> this is theirs. And they probably have one of mine, so you usually, you usually swap out. Yeah. You know, we have to give a ring. Mm -hmm. But you know what? This is from someone who was, has the same passion I do for the scene. Mm -hmm. Like, it's still pretty, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Community. It's people coming together. You know, it's good shit. Good all right. Drop beats, not bombs. Or acid. It's always good advice, you know. I'm not saying I'm not And these are just for the people it's who have bombs. bombs. I know not everybody out there has a bomb, but if you do have a bomb, know that the option is you can drop a beat and leave that bomb right where it is. Okay? See that? And well, we can all save the penguins. Yeah. Because everybody loves penguins. Like, if you don't love penguins, there's something wrong with you. Yeah, there's just something cool about them. Like the little tuxedos and everything. I want people to know Yeah. I really do. Like, this is people that see this that know me know this. And I don't know if it would be on my house. I might have like a zoo or something where it could be in its natural habitat. And I had a video of my penguin in my house where I could just see it running around every now and again. Like, oh, hey, he's out fishing. Man. Well, think about it. Though. Think about it. You walk this little house, you see a cat walk by, you're just like, oh. Yeah, cool, yeah. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't, like, there's so many people that have cats or dogs, it's like, oh, dog, oh, what kind of dog, dog. But, you saw, like, a penguin walk by, you <laughs> would just be like, penguin. <laughs> there's a fucking penguin. Now, do you like, put a leash on a penguin, or? Fuck that, man. No, you just let him a house. Just, like, chill out. Have this frame and shit. <laughs> like, doing tricks. Hell yeah. Have, like, a little cool island But you have to, you have, to have a pretty cool house, right? Like, a pretty chilled out. Pretty spacious. Spacious things, you know. Well, I mean, they like to slide a lot, so. 
like I don't, this is how I'm really bad at really working on I don't research on all the things you have to iron in. Mm-hmm. You gotta have like, I think it's FDA or some shit like that, approved habitat. They have to be fed every day. You cannot, you have to care for them every day or have some care for them every day. But like, you're like children basically, but you gotta have an expensive ass habitat. It has to be up to regulation, blah, blah. And it has to be bred in the United States. It has to be bred in the mm. Well, guys, we're, sure. we are running out of time here. You know, we don't have a lot left. So we're going to leave you with a few words of uh, wisdom from Blaze here. Just something to leave you out on, you know. So you guys have a good night. This is True Enigma signing out. The last words you hear will be from DJ Blaze. I'm going to be over the next one. I'm going to be over the next one. Um, <laughs> Flirt. Mary Jane.